My sister's husband, he went to India for his uh, consulate visa interview. So on the interview, they asked him, show me the waiver, other paperwork. He has everything with him, but they didn't give him opportunity to show. They just put it on packages, like a drop off box. So what we did, we drop off the paperwork, no answer whatsoever. We tried to call, we tried to connect. We just feel like we're in somewhere in the dark place and we can't reach it to anybody. It happened almost four months like that. Mm -hmm. So then I was online looking for help. If I can find who can help me, I found your website. My sister, she has a two young kids, cannot work. She left the work because her husband went to India. Income wise, she has a little bit saving. They thought he's gonna go consular interview, pick up visa, come back, the seven week process. But when he went there, after he find out, oh my God, it is, it, it's gonna be long and there's no way, no when he's coming back. Emotionally, my sister, she was so sick. She was so scared. She feel like a, her husband never gonna come back here because she had two young kids from that. She don't wanna show them she's suffering. She pretended. And I feel like when you pretend something, after some time, it show on your body. Yeah. You can see it, right? What types of things did you try to do to get the visa approved before you met me? We went to our local congressman, senator. They tried to reach Indian consulate office. And after two days, they send us letter back, is under process. What are we going to do? There's no lawyer helping us. And the biggest thing was, oh, you connect with the congressman, connect with the senator, they would help you. The same thing. They try their best, but the answer was the same. It was just devastating. Kids too, right? Two kids. How old? Uh, one was three, uh, three year old and the other one was 12 year old. And, the, and their dad isn't there. And she was like a traumatized. She couldn't understand what's going on. Her dad, he called on the phone, FaceTime. She's more scared. It was extremely hard. That's what I'm saying, Josh. I feel like you are the one to us, like you are the God for us. If we wouldn't find you, my sister would be going through the same thing. You know, uh, sometimes I heard so many family is same situation like us, but now I went through with my sister and she went through. I totally understand how you go day by day even minute by minute. I remember speaking with you and you were very eager to get started. Tell me like, how did you find out about me and how did that come about? I, I was, uh, Josh, I was on Google finding any lawyer help me about this case. I know the one word is say under process and I did not have any clue. What's under process mean is why consular saying under process, what they're looking for. I was just typing two days. I spent eight, nine, 10 hours on Google looking for help from anybody. And somehow when I see your, your website or your, I saw four or five times, I repeat, I repeat, I listen to you, I see you, I listen to you, I see you, I'm repeating myself. And then after two days, I told my sister, I say, you know what, come to the office, I'm gonna show you. I somehow, it's just a God message telling me, this person gonna help us. Josh, she didn't have any money. When I look at, I talk to your um, customer service person yeah. who I was connected to me, and I talk about the fee. She didn't say anything. She said, no matter what, where are we gonna bring the money? But I wanna connect to this person start process as soon as possible. So that's what we did. Yeah, I remember that day. I remember that call with you. Uh, <laughs> you were in a bad spot. I could hear it in oh, your voice. Oh, oh, I, I was just like, I feel like a, I'm going to die before <laughs> something happened to her because I couldn't stand it. When I, I talk to a lot of people who have these visa delays, uh -huh. and a lot of them say, if we sue the consulate or the embassy or the agencies, won't they just get mad at me if we sue them? And then they'll just deny the case because they'll be mad. What, what would you say about that? I, I would say this is wrong. They're not going to get mad because you are not doing anything wrong. You are asking them, hey, this person's going to represent me, talk to us and give us what you need. Right? And a lot of times people are worried, oh, well, what if I get denied? And If, if they deny you, they deny you 
some reason something is missing there they're not gonna deny you if your paperwork ready everything is ready over there there's no one person are who is picking up phone making this decision right it has a process they have a 10,000 application there more than 10th of the application there they don't have a time to see sometimes i understand their point of view too they don't see it when somebody representing us then legally they have to give us answer back mm -hmm. so that's what happened when when we connect with you you start the paperwork that's what they could not ignore that they have to respond back to you and when they see it nothing is missing all the paperwork is ready but only thing is their time or whatever they are waiting for now you representing us they have to get back to you. So, so I, was I, talking with someone, I was talking with someone yesterday who had a case in Mumbai, uh -huh. he was very skeptical of the lawsuit. He just thought, well, you know, I've been waiting a long time for the visa, but boy, I don't know if this is going to work. This sounds risky, a lawsuit. And he's just decided to keep waiting. What message would you have for someone in that situation? I went through the experience. They don't need to be scared. They don't need to be feel afraid. If they connect with you, you representing, you're starting a paperwork, 101% they're going to get a result and it's going to be the good result. If they need any paperwork, they're going to connect to you, ask you paper. Otherwise, 101%, they're going to issue a visa and, and you can pick up your visa and come home. Where do you think your sister and her husband would be right now today? if they hadn't filed this lawsuit? He would be still in India. And right now in India, I don't know, you heard the news, the former movement coming, a Corona is happening, everything is stopped. So many times lockdown over there, lockdown here, he would be still stuck in India. And these cases, I feel like immigration process has a time sensitive. If we go so long, they could share that because my brother-in-law's uh, position was his waiver. If he pass more than one year time, they could have said that, go apply for a new waiver. Then it's gonna extend more, one more year. If you didn't start the process, he would be still in India. How is she doing now? She was, she was like, every time you go there, she is so happy. You can see her personality change, her face change and family, everybody together. They cannot wait any day. <laughs> and my brother-in-law, he did not wait. He picked up his visa on 5th and 6th. He found a ticket and 7th he was here and he was working with me. He wanted to give his wife surprise. Please, if you guys are stuck in that kind of situation, don't waste your time. This is the only one thing gonna bring your family member here as soon as possible connect with Josh, tell him to represent you and he will bring it. And don't be afraid. These cases not going to discourage them. This case is not going to come back to you. There's no reason to deny it. Connect with Josh. He can represent you. Your, I promise your family can come within a month. It's been such a pleasure to oh. meet you and get to know you a little bit. And I'm so proud that I could be helpful to you and your family on your immigration journey. Thank you, Josh. I could not buy my sister's happiness with million dollar, right? But you did it. You did it, Jeff. Thank you. Kids are so happy and they are so thankful. They, you know, I just talk about the older one, 12 year old, she knows you because she understands. So she's so happy. She, every time she asked me, she's like, did you talk to him? Did you? So no, Gia, I didn't talk to him. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna talk to him. Well, it makes me really proud that I could help you. And uh, it makes me feel like I have the best job in the world. Help such great people. Thank you.